everybody. Thanks for joining us for this special webinar. New to TechSoup? What can TechSoup do for you? And even if you're not new to TechSoup, I know you go to that website and you probably don't know half of the things that we have to offer you. And we do it just for you. My name is Aretha Simons. I'm the webinar producer today. Not just today. I'm the webinar producer here at TechSoup. You see what happens when you're in a hurry? I have the pleasure of introducing some wonderful guests today. They're all tech supers. Yes, they've been here for quite a while and they're going to share a lot with you today. I'm going to show you how you can participate. If you have a question, please use the Q&A feature. You know, sometimes we're in the chat room, things move up really fast. So use the Q&A feature. We will be sending this and additional resources to you in a couple of days. We are recording this. If you need the CC button, go ahead and click on that CC button for the closed caption. Again, we're going to do our best to answer all your questions, but feel free to chat with each other in the chat room. So today I have some special guests. Like I said, they've been here for a while and they have lots to share with you. We have Kelly Garrett. She's the Associate Manager of Account Management Group aka customer service. This is a person you talk to when you have a question or you need real help. We have Mona Reyna. She's the Senior Director of Solutions and Services and so much more. Mona wears lots of hats. So you'll probably figure that out when you hear from her today. We have Whit Godden. He's the Director of Strategic Marketing with TAC Network. And we have Vanessa Jimenez. She's the Customer Success Manager. We have Eli Van Der Giesen, Community Manager. You've probably seen Eli all over TechSoup and even outside of TechSoup. More to come about Eli in a moment. And then we have Aaron Dow. He's a Program Manager of Quad. Yes, if you haven't heard of Quad, stick around because you're going to find out about Quad. Again, just to remind you, we will be recording this so you'll get all the recording within 48 hours. And Mona, I'm going to turn this show over to you and I'm so excited to hear about everything you're going to share today. Thanks. Thank you so much, Aretha. I am going to share my screen in just a minute. Um, so, um, as Aretha mentioned, um, we at TechSoup we have a lot. We do a lot for nonprofits, and um, what I'm what we are hoping to do in this uh, webinar is put it all together for you, um, so that you know which programs to reach out to when you need support. Um, so overall, TechSoup basically supports the digital transformation of nonprofits, and we have been focusing on a digital transformation from three perspectives, that is adoption of the cloud, better security and data practices, and really making your organizations more resilient and adaptive. Um, you know, at TechSoup, we've been doing this for about 30 years now, and we understand that digital transformation or tech adoption is not your mission. We also understand that it's a really important part of you being able to uh, increase your impact. So at TechSoup, what we do is we help support your digital transformation journey. We understand that the journey has many, many, many steps. It really isn't about you getting the technology. It's about the entire process to make sure that you get the right technology and that you implement it the right way so that it's actually helping you deliver your mission better. So we have a number of programs that actually help get you there. Um, this is a, a cycle showing you the digital adoption journey, which we know nonprofits go through, starting from even having to identify the right tech all the way to implementing it, training your staff, and then maintaining, and most importantly, improving and becoming more adaptive. Um, and another thing I wanna mention, a big thing that nonprofit, that TechSoup brings nonprofits is really our community. Um, you know, our community is a big part of learning together, growing together and understanding what are the right technologies to use for our mission. Um, today in our webinar, we will be introducing you to some of these key programs. Um, more specifically, we will be introducing our digital assessment tool, which helps you with the first step of that journey, which is assessing your needs. Um, we will talk a little bit about te our technology and cloud products that are available to you, um, the services that we make available so you can implement and manage your technologies, um, TechSoup courses for your staff and volunteer training. Uh, we will talk a little bit about the TechSoup community and how you can be a part of it. Um, you know, Kelly will introduce client services, and then as Aretha mentioned, 
we will be introducing Quad, which we are very excited about. So to quickly jump in, we will start with the digital assessment tool. The digital assessment tool helps nonprofits assess your digital capabilities. So what does that mean? Um, you know, as we are talking about digital transformation, we know that digital transformation is a buzzword now. And everyone kind of explains it in their own way. Technology companies have different definitions. The enterprise, the business enterprise has different definitions. And really what we are trying to do is define what digital transformation means for a nonprofit. And very simply, what we realize is digital transformation for a nonprofit is everything to do with your impact. It's about the transformative technology solutions that you need and the digital capabilities that you need to improve to supercharge your impact. That is what this digital assessment tool helps you do. Um, we've created a very simple framework where you know, we know that all nonprofits need to be digital, digitally capable in six categories. And these six categories are really what you should be paying attention to. Your programs, your fundraising, your communications and marketing, your operations and how you collaborate as an organization, your security, and then your infrastructure and hardware. What the assessment tool helps you do is assess yourself in each of these categories. Um, now, it doesn't mean that you need to assess yourself in all of them. You can choose, for example, you might um, want to invest in making your fundraising better in the next year. So you could go into the tool and just do the fundraising assessment. What the tool does is after you do the assessment, which is a series of questions, it tells you what your rating is. So it gives you a digital capability score that helps you understand, you know, as an organization, is your dig are your digital processes ad hoc or are you really standardized and can you optimize more? Um, and really the rating is not about your technology. It's about how you use technology in your organization. So when we're asking questions in the assessment, we're looking at not only what technologies have you adopted, but how you've adopted it. And if you've also set up staff training, so your staff is using technology the same way. The best part about the digital assessment tool is that once you get your rating, you also get recommendations. We know that TechSoup is a universe of options and solutions, and it's hard to know what's the right solution to go to. So the digital assessment tool actually makes it easier. So based on your questions and your rating, we, would, we give you recommendations that we think are more appropriate to you. An example would be, if you are a small nonprofit, which only has three staff, and we know from your assessment that you probably need a CRM, we will not recommend Salesforce because we know Salesforce needs a lot of resources to implement correctly. So that's just an example. We've tried our best to, um, to align the recommendations to what we think will be most relevant to your organization. So, you know, very quickly, uh, the digital assessment tool uses a framework that connects your assessments with your impact. When you go into the tool, we have a lot of worksheets that help you do your digital planning. Um, so if you wanted to work with your team, you could. We know that digital planning is a collaborative exercise. Um, you get the score. And just to let you know, the score is ad hoc through adaptive. So basically, do you not have any processes to adaptive being, are you an organization that is set up uh, in a way that you can continue to get new technologies as they come out? Uh, and the recommendations actually are a range of recommendations. So, you know, we not only recommend technology, for that technology, we recommend, you know, we give you articles, blogs, trainings, hardware that you need, webinars. So really it's, you know, our attempt is to bring all the most relevant recommendations together. So 
you know, while you look at the recommendation from Microsoft 365, you might want to read the article first so you understand if it's the right recommendation for you. And we give that together. Um, so I actually have um, a link in here that shows you um, the digital assessment tool. And I'd like to take a minute to just give you a quick demo to what the tool looks like. Um, and here we go. This is our test account. So once you enter the tool, it's a free account for your organization. Um, this is an absolutely free web application that is available to you, to all your friends, your staff, your volunteers. Uh, this is what your dashboard for an organization will look like, where, you know, as a team, you could add your top organization goals. And it's really to keep all your entire team grounded. Um, you get your overall rating. This is a test tool, so you can see that this org is actually ad hoc. And if you hover over it, it explains what ad hoc means. These are the assessments, and you can see you can go into any assessment and do any single assessment. You don't have to do them all. It's great if you do them all. Uh, each assessment takes about 20 minutes to do. Um, but for all of these assessments, you get a set of recommendations. You get, you know, you can go through your overall recommendations. You can even assign recommendations uh, to a specific person in your organization, right? You can see that I have assignees here. Um, and the best part about the tool, you can add your team to collaboratively use the tool. So we understand that for small orgs, all of the information around your org is really not contained in one place. So you probably have a colleague who understands how your security is set up, or you have a different colleague who understands how your fundraising is set up. You can actually invite your entire team and do these assessments together. So this is just, just a quick demo. We have a link to the tool. You can create your own account. Um, and we are, of course, always here to help you if you have any questions. So I'd like to move, um, I'd like to turn this over to my colleague, Vanessa, who's going to tell us a little more about the pro technology products you can find on TechSoup. We are going to talk about how you can access all of these products here in TechSoup. Um, you can access a DAS server that have donated and discounted products to the TechSoup catalog. And in the TechSoup catalog, it's not only going to provide you a wide range of technology products that are discounted from nonprofits, but basically we are saving an organization at least an average of um, $18,000 per TechSoup member. We have increased our cloud offerings and we're committed to help every organization um, move to the cloud and utilize our, uh, our benefits and the benefits of the cloud. Um, right here, um, you are able to see all of the partners that we work uh, very closely uh, to provide these amazing products to nonprofits. Uh, we have key corporate partners that provide nonprofits access to their technology solutions and connect them to special programs and experiences through a text of marketplace. Um, right here, um, we have Microsoft, we have Box, Adobe, Cisco, Lenovo, um, if you need any hardware, um, Asana, VMware, and and in quite a lot of more um, partners that we were not able to fit here, <laughs> but we have plenty of those um, that can um, help you in any step of the way in your digital transformation journey. And also nonprofit organizations can find the latest products and cloud offerings in our catalog. We have on-premise um, software, we have hardware and we have cloud technology too, as, as other things to help you out to the process and courses that you're gonna um, learn more about it later. Um, I think one of the questions that I get asked a lot is what is the cloud? So the cloud offers, um, basically, it's a, it refers to a software and services that can run into the internet instead of locally in your computer. Um, most of cloud services can be accessed through a web browser like Firefox or Google Chrome. Um, and some examples of cloud services include, for example, Google Drive, QuickBooks Online, Dropbox, or Microsoft OneDrive. What are the benefits of the cloud? You can access your information anywhere um, in the world and any device that has internet connection. 
Um, one of the good things about cloud is that you can collaborate with your colleagues um, and you can collaborate in real time. So you can see the edits in real time in the same document that you're working on. For example, if I share a document with Kevin and we're working on the same document, I'm able to see all the changes that Kevin is making um, in the same document. Um, and not only that, but it allows you to work um, in anywhere in the world. So if you want to work in your home computer and then later on you're going to be in the office, um, it will allow you to have the same license sometimes um, that will allow you that hybrid environment that will allow you to pick up where you left off when you get to the office, for example. What are the differences between on-prem and on-prem services and software versus the cloud? So on-prem versus um, the advantages is that it is one-time expense and no going on cost to have uh, to fund, for example. And then the cloud, the advantages are plenty and they keep growing. Um, so the clouds are spread out over time. Software updates um, happen automatically. You don't have to uh, think about them. Uh, you can turn licenses on and off as needed. Um, and also you're able to cancel um, those licenses as needed too. Uh, you have no more server hardware, software maintenance and expenses. Um, you can access your applications and files from anywhere. And it's a more robust security for all of your stuff. What are the disadvantages? On the on-prem side, you have a one-time expense. Uh, you need to upgrade in three or five years. Um, you can get your money back if you don't um, use or want to um, change it for a different version. And you're responsible for making sure your system is safe, patched, and secure. Uh, what are the disadvantages of cloud? Well, the costs are spread out over time. Um, you might need to retrain your staff on applications and workflows when they change it. Um, and is depending on internet connection a lot. Um, one of the things that I wanna to talk to you about is Microsoft Cloud. Um, we here in Texas are committed um, about taking you in this transformational journey in the best way possible in a way that you are able to understand everything that includes um, the digital transformation journey. One of the things is that we're partners with Microsoft and a lot of organizations use a Microsoft products every day um, to help out in their mission. So one of the things that I wanna to talk to you about is Microsoft Cloud. So there are different options about Microsoft Cloud. There are free um, options for licenses in the cloud and they are um, discounted options only for nonprofits um, that there are paid options um, that you can get. So you have Office 365 um, licenses, you have Enterprise Mobility and Security licenses, Microsoft 365, which is a bundle between um, EMS, which is um, like a, a security software, um, Office 365, like for example, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all of the Office apps, and Windows 11 at this moment. So that bundle is Microsoft 365. You have Power BI, which is an amazing um, visualization data tool and you have Microsoft Azure. Um, Microsoft Azure actually um, gives you um, $3,500 for free um, as a credit for that you are able to apply it um, to any, anything uh, in Microsoft Azure that will help you in, the, in your digital transformation journey. Um, how you can find those amazing Microsoft Cloud offers. One of the things that you can do is go to our website, texit.org. Um, you're gonna go to the product catalog um, and there's gonna be all the way to the top in the right side of the screen. Uh, once you click on it, you're gonna see this amazing drop down with all of the all of the partners that we have. All of these names might sound familiar to you. Um, like for example, Intuit, Microsoft, Lenovo, um, so all of that's how basically you can find any um, any partner that has a relationship with TechSoup and all the products that we have from them. Um, in this case, you're gonna select Microsoft and that's gonna be the landing page kind of looks like this, like Microsoft for nonprofits and you will have all of the, um, all of the offers that, that we have. Uh, one of the things good about um, Microsoft in, in TechSoup is that we have a, a cloud um, a cloud expert teams that can help you all guiding you um, with your choosing the right Microsoft licenses for your organization and how you can get hold of them. So one of the good things about it is that once you are deciding what um, cloud offer you want for your organization, um, once you click on get Office 365 or get Microsoft 365 in the checkout process, 
you're gonna find this um, this amazing website, basically with a um, step by step guide on how you can get those licenses. At any point of time that you feel that you need somebody to help you out in this journey, then we are right here to help you out. You are gonna find this um, uh, pop up um, in the in in that website uh, with our chat, and we have live help. Um, you're going to have somebody um, that will help you out with the entire journey. Um, and our cloud experts are Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Um, Pacific time. Um, you're going to get support for free. Um, and the good thing about it is that TechSoup understands nonprofits because we're also a nonprofit. So we understand all the challenges that you have with choosing technology, um, getting the funding for that technology or, or basically anything that you might need um, in order to, to get the technology in your hands. So we are here to make you um, the best that you can be and help you with your mission. And we don't believe about anything regarding sales pitches. We are here to help you all making the right decision for your organization. And we want to make sure that you utilize the product and that you're getting the best solution for your organization. So right there, you're going to be able to see in the chat um, that I popped this specific website. Um, so if you want to have um, somebody in the chat, you are able to, and also to check all the resources um, that we have in this web page. Um, how else you can get somebody to help you out in this process? Well, we also have um, a ticket submission that you are able to, um, to do. And that specific um, ticket submission will lead into a free consultation. So you're going to have somebody there that will help you out um, uh, through the phone or via email if that's what you desire. Um, and what you can get during that free consultation, well, you can get help with registration in the Microsoft nonprofit portal um, that I know for um, some organizations is a very difficult process. Uh, we are able to help you out choosing the right uh, license for your organization, recommendation with any services or courses um, that you might need to boost um, your licenses and boost your knowledge too, and implementation of those licenses. Um, I know that often here in TechSoup, um, we find organizations that don't have any IT personnel, that is only one-man shop. We're right here to help you out um, in the process, and we have uh, thousands of partners that can help you out doing that. Um, so we also are able to recommend you who will be the best partner to go with it. Um, so you don't have to worry about how you're gonna be able to um, implement those licenses and unlimited support for free too. And I think one of the, the last things that I wanted to tell you and remind you is that we're here to help. Um, that's one of the motives that we, that we created this specific team. Uh, for cloud, because we understand how difficult technology can be um, often for smaller organizations. Um, and our team is here to help you out. And we're, we're actually real people. <laughs> we're not a robot. Um, right here, you can see a few of the faces that you're going to meet uh, via email or via phone when you're talking to us. And, and one of the things that we're also doing as a team is that we have created a lot of resources to help you out in this journey. We created a step-by-step -step guide. Um, for Microsoft Cloud licenses, but it's from the moment that you're even thinking about cloud till the moment that you are using those applications. So right here um, is the guide. I will put the link below so you're able to, um, to use it. Um, and also we are doing monthly uh, virtual office hours. Uh, we talk all about technology and, and how to integrate cloud offers to your daily job. So the next one that we're going to have is going to be how to integrate third-party solutions, for example, like Box, Adobe Sign, Zoom for Outlook, Asana, um, how to integrate them to Microsoft and what you already have. So hopefully you join us every month. Um, we're right there also to um, help you resolve any questions that you have. Um, so I just want to say that technology can be easy when you have a team of experts like us to help you along your digital transformation journey. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Um, and you know, we have uh, Vanessa and Kevin on um, um, on our webinar today, and they're amazing. Um, they help organizations all day long with their Microsoft CSP and other questions. So please don't hesitate to reach out to that amazing team. Um, and now that we've spoken about products, I'd like to speak a little bit about the services that we offer nonprofits. Um, we understand 
that nonprofits aren't technologists, um, that a lot of this technology is complicated and hard and has too many options. Um, so at TechSoup, we offer TechSoup services that helps nonprofits with installation, implementation, and management of their technology needs. Um, we call you know, uh, these services our value-added services offerings because uh, these are a value add to our product catalog. Um, and the range of services we have are consulting. So, and you know, we have a range of consulting services for a lot of products. Um, we have implementation and installation, and then we do have monthly managed IT services where we help you manage um, all of those technologies that you take on, or in fact, your entire technology. So uh, we even have a special managed service offering for small organizations, where if you don't have an IT admin, you could, for a very, very small fee, just get a monthly subscription for us to fix unlimited issues in your organization. Um, I do want to point out that all of our services are really designed and built with the needs of a small nonprofit in mind. Nonprofits that do not have full-time staff that are able to help your IT. Um, another service I want to mention is our digital communications and website management service. We are very, very proud of this service offering. We, especially with COVID, we understand how many of you had to work remote, had to move all your fundraising remote and how critical it is that your communications, your website, your web security, all of that is secure. Um, so, you know, as I was mentioning, all of our services are built with the small nonprofit in mind. And what we do in a services team is we design the services. So an example would be, I keep mentioning installation service, and that's really important because we've realized that nonprofits need help with installing technology, that not all technology is simple and easy to just click through and install for 10 of your staff and volunteers. Um, so we actually offer these services standalone. So you don't have to buy the whole package to get a service. Um, you know, and we've noticed that no one else in the, you know, in the market does that. So we wanna make sure that that is available to you. We offer help desk services standalone, um, implementation services. We will do projects for you that are customized to your needs. And the way that we deliver all of this is through a network of validated and vetted service partners. Um, so we have a list of partners that we choose because they have experience with nonprofits, they understand your budgets and they understand your needs and the fact that they won't have an IT admin on the phone, you know, when they have questions. Um, and I think that that partnership really makes our services special and relevant to small nonprofits. Um, I, you know, I just want to mention that, you know, all of the products that uh, Vanessa mentioned uh, that we offer in our catalog, we have services for all of them. Um, it, you know, I don't want to take time to go through everything, but please know that if you have any questions, you can always write to us at services at techsoup.org. Uh, I wanna mention that specifically, we have an entire suite of Microsoft 365 services. Um, and we do that because we are very focused on moving your organization to the cloud. Um, and you know, without further ado, I'm gonna turn this over to my friend and services partner, Whit Godden, um, who we have developed our digital communications and website management services with. Whit, take it away. Thanks, Mona. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. It's a pleasure to be with you all today. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the, the um, town hall. I'm very honored and appreciative of TechSoup and our partnership. I'm Whit Godden. Um, uh, a little bit about TechSoup. So we are actually TechSoup's official marketing technology partner. And really, like our goal is to empower organizations for good. Um, essentially, your vision is our mission. So over the past two years, we, you know, uh, we have worked really closely with TechSoup um, to help kind of lead in the, the discussion and the conversation around digital marketing and website development. 
Um, along with this experience with TechSoup, we've also been really fortunate enough as an agency to be working with nonprofits alone for over 10 years at this point. Um, one of the things I'm most proud about, and I think where there was a lot of synergy around this discussion, and particularly as Mona was mentioning earlier, since COVID, was sort of this unexpected and sort of uninvited thrust into digital transformation that we all experienced um, back in 2020. And so when we sat down and worked with Mona's team to design these uh, products, we, we really did want to have how, uh, the thought in mind of the small nonprofit. So, you know, we really tailored our services specifically uh, to meet those needs and also to meet some of the barriers that might uh, be presented to nonprofits. So for example, like we worked uh, and kind of were able to figure out, okay, if we can provide a $79 consultation for website services, that's really a great opportunity for nonprofits to even just get an understanding and get a baseline of where to start going rather than your, your standard sort of like $500, you know, consultation you might get with a standard digital marketing agency. So today I'm going to talk through uh, two of our core service offerings um, and kind of give you a little bit of information and insight as to really how do services tailor into the rest of the tools and products that TechSoup uh, provides nonprofits and really where you can leverage the services department to really maintain, optimize, and hopefully accelerate growth of your impact as well as the operations internally at your organization. So um, as I mentioned, we really focus on two main priorities or two main key topics here at TAP Network through our services team. And the first is digital communications. Um, so when it comes to the digital communications, I would say we kind of hit on two key layers. You know, the first layer is sort of building out the tactical as well as the technological strategy and roadmap, right? So we're looking at every single digital touch point that your organization might have and ensuring that all of those components are integrated and set up uh, effectively, both from a tactics and strategy, as well as the technology that's involved. So on the left hand side here you'll see some you'll see what we would put together sort of like your strategic roadmap what are the pieces that you need as an organization to put into place to really catapult and um, scale your digital efforts and your digital communications you know topics could be volunteer recruitment donation um, donation requests managing uh, your virtual fundraising events. I have a client that I'll be showcasing in just a few slides where we had a great opportunity to really blow, blow them out of the water when it came to their, their annual gala. Um, and then additionally, we also have, as Mona was mentioning earlier, I'd say that the strategic roadmap is really that setup, right? The, the discovery phase, the assessment, what do I need to be put into place? And then we kind of help provide that roadmap and that oversight from our expertise, um, really tailoring it to every organization. And then on the other side, we also um, provide the opportunity to help with any ongoing management and development of all of those components of marketing campaigns, or other uh, different communication levers that you're looking to do. Some of those pieces might include blog writing, uh, helping you guys, helping organizations with their social media from developing and creating the assets to the monthly strategy. Um, we even work with, as I mentioned before, event promotion, lots of other different pieces. So on the right-hand side, you'll see an example um, of sort of some of the tools and the, the pieces that we help use to allow our uh, to support organizations to really build capacity, uh, leverage communication, and be able to monitor and track so that we're, we're, we know where we're going, how we're going to get there, and whether or not we're headed in the right direction, and when and, with, when and if we may need to make, make a, a pivot at some point. So just a little glimpse or a snapshot. <clears throat> These are some of the ongoing uh, services that we provide through TechSoup. So, you know, we're not looking, not every relationship is going to be, as Mona was saying, all or nothing. We, we, we built these products and these services specifically to support the needs of every organization, however they need. So the social, we offer social media services. We can step in and help with email marketing, donation pipeline, and digital fundraising. Uh, we have a couple Google ad grant service um, clients that we work with. Uh, branding and design services. Uh, this kind of folds onto two sides, right? It could be in your communications itself, or it could also fall in line with a lot of your uh, your website or some of your print materials. So we do help we help out in that as well. Um, SEO and content marketing services. So how are you developing and optimizing the content that you're publishing both on your website as well as through your email and on your social media? Um, 
We support online advertising, event promotion and management. That's one of my favorites. My past life, I was an event coordinator and event manager for a startup out on the West Coast. Um, and then, of course, uh, a big component of what we work with is uh, member engagement and community impact. I think that this, particularly through the digital ecosystem, has been a challenge for a lot of nonprofits to really master and grapple. Um, and so being able to kind of step in and provide that consultative relationship and then build collaboratively uh, and leveraging a lot of the tools and products that are already available through TechSoup's um, membership and being able to kind of harness that help with that implementation and ongoing management of those uh, pieces. So that's a little snapshot of the digital communications and marketing uh, side of what, what we do uh, with TechSoup. And then on the other side, and I, I led with digital marketing because your website really is an, a part of your digital communication, right? Um, so many nonprofits, for many nonprofits, the first step that any audience member takes is going to be your website. So I, I have here um, an example of a client that we that we had. This is one client that is very near and dear to Mona's heart um, and has become a very, very dear friend of mine uh, through my client relationship um, and also is a TechSoup member of Vituity Cares Foundation. So we were actually able to take their first website, as you're seeing here, and revamp it and make it make it meet the operational needs of their organization along, as long with updating and aligning the like kind of look and feel that branding piece to really suit their audiences. So I do want to show you, I'm very proud of this. This is sort of the updated version of their website. Um, so what you can see here is we've kind of applied what we call in digital marketing, you uh, user experience and user interface best practices along with an updated design to really help build the story as well as um, allow for better engagement and usability across the entire site. So I highly suggest take a look, Vituity Cares Foundation, they're an amazing organization, uh, really looking and striving to like close health, the healthcare gap um, and end health inequity. They're fabulous. Um, this was also a client that we, at the same time of, of launching their, their website and working on that, uh, we had the, the privilege of being able to help them with their annual fundraising gala. And this was back in 2020. We raised, you know, close to $300,000 just in one evening with them. So they've just, they're, I think they're a perfect example of success when they kind of double down in their digital transformation and utilize all of the services and all of the products available through TechSoup. <clears throat> Additionally, we do have, um, in addition to like sort of these website rebuilds and kind of looking at building it from the infrastructure, right? Uh, we also allow support sort of ongoing website development and management services as well. So if your organization isn't necessarily ready or looking to invest in relaunching your entire website or setting out, as I mentioned before, writing a whole entire marketing strategy, there are ways to engage TechSoup with ongoing management services. And so here we have a couple examples. Um, I think the one that I'm most proud of and I think leads, the, leads to the most fruitful conversation is in addition to the digital assessment tool, uh, TAP, we built a website wellness assessment where it actually crawls your website and it kind of gives you a very brief digest of what's working well on your website and what's not working well and where are there opportunities. And at that point, it kind of allows for a, a, a good starting point to open up the conversation through either a consultation, um, or any other kind of uh, conversation that you want to have with us to build out maybe some management services, ongoing monthly subscription to help get you and start moving that needle slowly. Um, so that is a little snapshot of uh, what we offer here uh, as a service partner. And I want to thank everybody for, for attending today. And Mona, thank you so much for the opportunity. We've, we greatly appreciate it and love the partnership. Thank you so much, uh, Wit. Um, we love working with TAP, and as Whit mentioned, we also do a lot of work um, in creating trainings. Um, so now I'd like to talk, tell you a little bit about all of the great training and courses uh, that TechSoup has created for nonprofits. Um, I am actually going to share my screen, so Whit, if you can take your screen off. Thank you. All right. Um, so TechSoup courses. Um, so at 
take soup, we understand um, that a huge need as you are digitally transforming is actually getting your staff trained. And actually what we hear from a lot of nonprofits is not just the staff, but volunteers. Basic digital skills is a huge need uh, for nonprofits. So at TechSoup over the last four years, we've been developing over 200 courses um, for nonprofits. Um, we have trainings that are available in several languages and in the US they're available in English and Spanish. Um, what is really special about TechSoup courses is that any staff or volunteer can get a free account and access to TechSoup courses. Um, so this is not connected with your TechSoup membership account. Um, and that's important I and mean, we built it purposefully like that so that it's easy for anyone to get access to these courses. All of our training is developed with nonprofit experts. So, you know, as Whit mentioned, we actually work with TAP Network and we've created a brilliant series of email marketing, um, you know, courses for nonprofits. Again, we do all of our training development with adult instruction and online training methodology in mind and contextualize it to nonprofit challenges. An example is we have a whole bunch of courses on Excel. Um, and instead of giving like different examples in Excel, our example is how does how do you build your budget using Excel, right? So all of the training, we know how busy you are. We know that you're probably going to use this training in your almost non-existent free time. So we want to make sure that the training is super targeted, that you can find what you're looking for, and that when you do the training, the example, the case study is relevant to you. Um, I also want to introduce you to the Microsoft Digital Skills Center. This is a partnership uh, and a collaboration with, between TechSoup and Microsoft to make basic Microsoft uh, digital training available to all nonprofits. There was a question in chat about whether all of the training is paid and the answer is no. We have a lot of free training. We actually often give you know, free promotions every month. We also price our training really, really low. So if you go into the Digital Skills Center, you will find our basic and introductory courses as low as $3 and they are never about above $10 per course. Our Digital Skills Center has over 30 courses. And we built these courses because we heard of the support that nonprofit staff need in using um, you know, basic um, Microsoft Cloud products like Teams. Um, you know, it's a great product and you know, spending an hour with our training can actually help you really utilize it to collaborate much more efficiently with your team. Um, we have a range of courses. So we started courses that are free and introductory all the way to live workshops. We have cohort based, based sessions where you can learn together with a cohort of 50 nonprofits. We have expert sessions where we bring experts you know, to our website to answer your questions directly about specific topics. We have seminars. So there's a lot. Um, and if you email us your request to learn at techsoup.org, um, then we can absolutely help you um, with it. I want to actually, um, another point I want to make here is because these courses are meant for individuals, um, actually every staff member has to create their own account. But if you as an organization, for example, there's Teams, we have two courses in Teams. And if you wanted to make it available, to all 20 of your staff, and you didn't want to pay the full amount per staff, please just drop us an email. We do this all day long. We will be very happy to facilitate a bulk discount for your entire organization. We want to make sure that you're able to access these trainings. That's our first you know, prerogative. So if you send us an email, we will help facilitate discounting on these trainings for your staff and facilitate access for your staff to these trainings. So again, learn at techsoup.org. Um, now, very quickly, again, um, you know, I know we are throwing a lot of information your way. Um, I would love to show you what the TechSoup um, courses site looks like. 
So if you went to techsoup.course.tc and we'll share the link on the chat um, and in our follow-up, uh, you can see the entire catalog. Uh, you can see that we, you know, we've separated out the Microsoft Digital Skills Center. We have so, so many courses. So you know, if you were to look for Power BI, you would find all of Power BI courses. Um, we often put together our courses in tracks. So if you wanted to take them all together, you could. Um, you could take them individually. Um, so there's just a host of options. Um, and I'd highly recommend that you go into our catalog. You know, you could, you could look for fundraising and you'd find all of our fundraising courses and we have a lot of them. Um, so this is just so you understand where to find courses. And again, please don't hesitate um to reach out to us um, if you do um, i also i'm really happy to share that because this is a webinar for everyone who is new to TechSoup, uh, we are able to make a special track of courses available to everyone on this webinar um, we've created a track where we've put together all of the foundational skills that we think uh, every nonprofit staff should have um, you know, we have everything from project management to Excel to Google Ad Grant Seminar to grant writing and cybersecurity. Um, these uh, courses will be available to you for free. If you simply click on this link, you can also share this link with everyone. You can give it to your staff, your volunteers. You will need to create a TechSoup account, but that's free. And then you, all you need to do is click on this link and join the track. And we really hope you find this useful. We would love to hear your feedback or if you want more things like this, or if there are other topics you want us to create training on. We have an entire team of experts that we put together to create trainings that are most useful to you. So please do reach out um, and we would love to hear from you. And with that, I am going to turn this over to Eli, who's going to tell us about the TechSoup community. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you, Mona. I'll take over this screen. Click, click. Et voila. Hi there, friends. I'm Eli. I'm a community manager with TechSoup and I produce events and manage the TechSoup Connect Tech for Good chapters. TechSoup is made up of people with more than 1 million members. We're the biggest group of nonprofits passionate about using technology to help organizations create more impact. And I think we all have a lot to teach each other. So the first resource I want to highlight are the TechSoup forums. Do you have a question that needs an answer? TechSoup's forums are the place to go. The forums are populated by nonprofit experts and consultants, TechSoup staff, and people just like you who want to share what they've learned with their fellow nonprofits so that the next nonprofit doesn't have to suffer the pain that you did when you were trying to solve the problem the first time. It's our place to stop reinventing the wheel. The forums are brand agnostic and hosted by trusted trusted technology experts who are volunteering their time to answer your questions. So go to the forums if you want to learn about TechSoup's offers, if you're looking for a recommendation for a particular tool, or maybe you just want to gossip with your fellow nonprofits or talk about the potential impact of artificial intelligence. If you have a question, we as a community have answers. And of course, we're on all the social media channels too. So give us a follow. You can find the links to all of our sites in the footer of the website at techsoup.org. And we will be sharing the best links and resources around tech for good through the social channels. It's a great place to figure out what's, what's hot in the sector, whether it's civil society's response to the crisis in Ukraine, or maybe you just need practical tips on how to plan a successful online event. And if you really want to get our attention, add us on Twitter. Here is one of my favorite stories demonstrating the power of our community. We often feature questions from the TechSoup forums in our 
social media via the donate your brain hashtag. Over the summer, an indigenous nonprofit posted in the forum asking for help with their website. So our forum moderator, Jane, leapt to action and shared the forum post on Twitter and almost immediately was able to get the organization in touch with a volunteer design agency. A success story. TechSoup serves all nonprofits, but we offer special support in a few specific areas. Check out our community home for tech resources catering to organizations focused on domestic violence, libraries, and food security. In fact, stay tuned because our next presenter will be talking about our latest initiative in food security. You already know about TechSoup's webinars. That's how you found us here today um, and registered. But did you know that we also have a global network of local chapters hosting free Tech for Good workshops and conversations? It's called TechSoup Connect. And these chapters are managed by volunteers who offer free online and in-person events about tech for good. These events help nonprofits, their staff and supporters build communities, share resources, and discover the new opportunities for social impact. Go to events.techsoup.org and search for your local chapter. And so when I said we, I really meant it. I actually got involved with TechSoup about 13 years ago as first an attendee and then a volunteer with the Vancouver Canada chapter. And actually, ridiculously, I am still all these years later, still hosting an event. In fact, my next one starts in seven minutes. So you should check out my Western Canada chapter, which is open to everyone now that we're online. So there are these 30 chapters and they're all locally driven events. And we think that's important because they allow the community to meet their own specific needs. Um, you know, so there's chapters who are operating in French, in Spanish, um, in Arabic and in Swahili. Um, and we think the only, a really, only that a local team really understands the needs of nonprofits in a way that me working from my office in Canada will never really understand. We all want to hear the stories and case studies about nonprofits in our backyard. How a nonprofit in Minnesota manages volunteers is going to be quite different from one in London or Washington, DC, or in Vancouver. But what if you don't have a local chapter? Why not join me and start your own? You don't need to be a tech expert to be a TechSoup Connect host. You just need to be curious and a connector. Your role is to be the event organizer, the recruiter, and to bring people into the room. So you should become a host to share your skills and build a reputation and help your fellow nonprofits gain the technology skills to do more good. You should apply at events.techsoup.org. It's super fun, I promise you. And with that, I'm going to pass you over to my colleague, Aaron, who will talk a little bit about Quad. Hi, everyone. How you doing? Um, I'm Aaron. Thanks, Eli. I'm Aaron Dow. I'm the program manager for Quad. Uh, Quad is the latest homegrown membership subscription from TechSoup. So we uh, spoke to 62 different uh, food security organizations over the course of a long time, interviewing, having events, uh, putting together discussions, presentations, researching, and analyzing, we asked them essentially with our 30 years of experience in the sector, our resources, our connections, what can we do to help you bring more value, uh, to help you make greater impact? And the answer, the response was quad. Essentially, there are three key areas that we discovered in talking to these organizations uh, that uh, they, they think are the most important parts to uh, being successful for their organization. Uh, one is products. I think we all can relate to that. Um, they want products uh, to help modernize what they're doing. They want new tech tools. They want to move away from Excel spreadsheets, which I can tell you right now, chronically, I'm sure a lot of you are used to that. That's very much what's happening in the food security org uh, sector. Um, they want to get courses to train their volunteers on these new tech tools. 
Uh, they want uh, to create sustainable operations. Um, in this era of COVID, they've had to deal with uh, food delivery as opposed to people coming to them. So there's a lot of logistical issue, issues, um, a lot of challenges, uh, schedule, scheduling uh, volunteers, um, retaining volunteers. So there's a lot of, lot of challenges, a lot of hurdles and born out of that uh, in our discussions was the idea of taking this product or products as well as uh, courses and then finally community. So we have products, courses, and community. And th those are the three key, area key areas that these nonprofits told us that they want to uh, enhance and develop and uh, promote. Um, so with that in mind, here comes Quad. What we developed is a membership service that provides three key areas. One, uh, Quad offers products. In other words, you have zeroed out products, um, no admin fees. Um, that's now that's for a year subscription. Um, if we can do that, we will do that with no ad. Some products that um, are discounted offers. So we work with our partners. Can't actually donate directly a product. Uh, they can allow at least for a discounted offer. And if that's the case, then sometimes we have to pay fees back to them. And in those instances, you at least get reduced admin fees. You may still have to pay the discounted portion of the product, but the admin fees are totally removed. So aside from reduced admin fees or zeroed out admin fees and reduced uh, um, uh, cost for certain products, you also get free, absolutely free courses. Mona and the others have talked about courses. You've seen how incredible they are. We have different tiers, uh, you know, like learning basics about Excel or um, adopting SharePoint. So there's a lot of different uh, courses there uh, that can help generate and, and enhance your organization. And they're all free through Quad. So we've got products that we can offer, we have um, uh, courses that we can offer, and we also have a personal needs assessment support, and that'll be me, essentially helping to guide, uh, helping to shepherd along the way, offering uh, suggestions in terms of articles I think will be relevant to what you need, um, uh, and, uh, helping to place requests that you need, and uh, essentially just connecting the dots with you. Uh, if you need products, courses, and community. In terms of products and courses, uh, the big thing here that we're doing is creating this basic dynamic community space. Uh, right now, we have, I mentioned, worked with food security orgs, but it's open to everyone. We just, uh, like Eli mentioned, uh, domestic violence, food security orgs. These are sort of key sectors that we're concentrating on, but the idea with Quad is that we're going to actually develop a bigger community for all stakeholders, depending on uh, irregardless, uh, regardless of uh, sector. And with Quad, the community be a, a dynamic space. Uh, the food security orgs told us that they wanna talk to their peers. They wanna gain the ideas and the shared experiences that come out of uh, conversation and debate. And so in, in, with that engagement, what we thought about is taking this community, uh, taking the engagement and the ideas that come out of it, using the products and courses to help facilitate those solutions. So it's a three-tier process with added support from me. So you've got products, courses, and this dynamic community. The community itself, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add content, we're gonna have guest speakers, uh, is, we'll have curated information in there. It's a lot of stuff pertaining to your needs and finding out the solutions uh, for your uh, programs and what you need to do. Um, so with that in mind, let's see, let me go over here. You can find Quad if you do a search here uh, at our site, uh, do a search. Um, so this is brand new. We're going to get it on the catalog uh, list as well. But currently, if you want to look for Quad, it's um, through a search field right here. You can find it right there. Quad is $200, and I want to know what that means. Um, it's a $200 membership for a year. We took... Uh, uh, that number we based on the annual spend of our TechSoup members. Now, typically, you know, we've got a lot of things. We have courses and products, but overall, I think the annual spend for most people is products. And if you look at $200, if you look at it that way, uh, we think the value is so much more because you're not just going to get zero dot admin fees for products. You're going to get absolutely free courses regardless of the tier, and you're also going to get this collective. Um, solutions generating community with your peers. It's quite amazing of what we've heard from uh, these food security orgs and what they need to do and the challenges. Again, managing volunteers, um, um, making sure they can get uh, food uh, to the uh, 
to the right place, dealing with routing and mapping issues in the era of COVID, um, working with volunteers of different levels of tech means and adoption. So there's a lot of challenges and we think that Quad's gonna answer those challenges. Um, again, it's $200, but the value certainly is uh, so much more in our opinion. And uh, we hope that you can uh, join us. If you have any questions, you can certainly um, uh, ask us about it here, right here is a screenshot of what it looks like. You'll see over here on the, the left is a column introducing all the uh, sort of dynamic content we have. We're gonna have these uh, discussions. We'll have these events put on. Again, special curated events with special content, specifically for quad members. Uh, we all have articles and resources. Uh, our digital content team has included already some articles as well pertaining to some of the discussion information already uh, born out of the consultations that we've had with some of our nonprofit members who have already signed up. So that is the gist of it. We think uh, this is gonna go far. We think this is the future in terms of meeting the needs of our nonprofit members. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a link right now in um, the chat, which is the quad direct product link. There you go. And I hope that helps. And from now, I'm going to stop and I will move on to my colleague. Hi, hey everyone. This is Kelly. Let me just get um, my screen shared here. So I know a lot of um, people might have to drop off, so I'm going to try to make it uh, short and sweet. Um, but I am the associate manager of the client services team. Um, if you've ever contacted TechSoup for support, you've uh, talked to somebody in the client services department, and uh, we're the one who handles customer service along with account management. Uh, so basically, we have a two-fold job. First is when you register with us, uh, we are the team that goes in and checks your 501c3 nonprofit status and some other key points and get you qualified or reach out for documentation if we need that. Um, once you're qualified and ready to go with requesting products and services, we're the team that you can contact for help um, navigating the website, um, checking on your eligibility, answering any basic questions about the products. We are not tech trained. That is why we have our ser wonderful services team and all the courses training and things like that. Client services, mostly account management and some light um, product understanding. So if you want in-depth product uh, support or if you want some recommendations, that's when I definitely go with our services team who can really help out your organization because they'll be able to learn what your needs truly are and be able to spend some time with you about that. So one thing I wanted to go over today was just navigating our website. Um, it is um, a great website. We uh, really make an effort to try to put as many resources and answer as many questions as we can right off the bat for you, because we understand your time is precious. And we don't want you to have to waste time giving us a call or filling out a contact us form and waiting a couple of business days for a response. So we really do try to put as much as we can on the website for you. Um, on our landing page, when you go to www.techsoup.org, you will see that there's a couple options here at the top. Um, the services drop down is where you can access a lot of the services that we're talking about today or go to their landing pages to learn more about them. So I highly recommend checking that out after the webinar. Um, community is also where you can access um, some of the other things we've heard about today. Um, and again, we'll get to those landing pages that a lot of us have pinged uh, the links into the chat. Another place is help. Help's a great place to go. We have a little FAQ there along with an FAQ bot button that's always at the bottom of every page. And we do try to keep that up to date and really um, listen to the questions being asked and actually make it a frequently asked question section. <laughs> so the next place I always recommend is that if you've kind of poked around here and don't see what you want, or if you're looking for a product that you'd like to check out with, we want you want to click on the product catalog page here, or uh, tab here. <clears throat> that will take you to our product catalog landing page. And at the top, you have three new helpful options. Donor company dropdown is going to give you the entire list of every partner that we're partnered with. You'll see below here, I have a little screenshot. It starts with the A's. On the left here, you can actually click on the um, letter to go to it because it's alphabetical. So great way to kind of see who are we partnered with right now? What are they offering in there? If, you're, if that's a question you have. Um, another spot is categories, great place to go. Um, it's broken down into different sections like business needs, grant management, uh, website management, things like that. And if you click on hardware, um, I actually shared this link earlier that takes you to our hardware um, page. And that's a great place to go if you're looking for computers, uh, you know, we have desktops, laptops, refurbished, we have um, access 
uh, for free, um, uh, free access to catalogs. For example, Dell um, and Lenovo have nonprofit catalogs that it's a $0 admin fee. You check out on, with TechSoup, you get a link and you get access to that. So it's a great place to get software discounts for new products too. So always recommend coming here and checking it out. We do try to um, break things down within the section. So for example, the donor or company I picked was TechSoup Services for Nonprofits. And you'll see it's actually broken down within here and you'll see each product listed. You just click on that to bring up the product page. And the product page is where you're gonna have most of the information that you're looking for. And something that's easy to miss is there is always going to be three tabs on these product pages. So when you click on each one, you're gonna have a new set of information. And details and service costs, I find usually has the breakdown of um, services. So if you see something that says you're getting a 60% discount, you're wondering what that is, a lot of times it's broken down more in depth in that middle tab. And the general description is gonna be here. Rules, eligibility, restrictions is also a useful page. Um, if you're worried, some uh, partners only allow a certain number of products to be requested for our fiscal year, which is July 1st through June 30th. Um, so it's a great place to check there for if there's any quantity restrictions or what types of um, organizations might not be eligible. Things like that is um, all listed in there as well. So easy to miss these three tabs and highly recommend always checking all three on a product you're interested in. A lot of our partners have a no refund policy. So it's important to really make sure you thoroughly understand the product, make sure it meets your needs before you check out. And then say you do check out and you can't seem to find that um, fulfillment email, those are stored in your My Account, um, or say you are trying to figure out where to go to for support for a specific product. Um, we usually recommend going to our partners um, for just basic installation or download support. Um, you can always contact us um, on our help page, which you click here. You will have down here all the different places you can go to for help. For uh, customer support, you're going to click the contact us here, and that's going to take you to um, our contact us page where you just fill out a form or it also has our um, phone number at the very bottom. So that's how you can get in touch with us. Um, we are a little backlogged right now. Um, we usually like to respond within a couple business days, but we are a little bit um, far behind with, with all the new exciting things going on with Microsoft and a lot of our things like quad launching. It's been a busy new year for TechSoup. So if you've tried to reach out to us and we haven't gotten back to you yet, I apologize. We will definitely though get back to you eventually. Um, or you can always give us a call as well if it's something that's urgent. We are open 7 a.m. Uh, to 12 p.m. Pacific time because we're located in California, um, Monday through Friday. Um, after that, uh, we still are working and answering emails, but the lines do close at 12 p.m. Pacific. Awesome. And so just a refresher on what client services can and cannot assist with. We can assist with the account management. We can answer your eligibility questions. We can help you navigate you know, our website. We don't provide IT support. We don't provide product support. We can't um, answer in-depth product functionality questions. That's something TechSoup Services or maybe the uh, partner that provided it can answer those questions. So hope that all makes sense. And I'm sure I will talk to one of you someday, some in the future. I am always um, helping out in our uh, contact us form queue. So sometimes I will be responding um, and just always keeping an eye out for our members. So hope everyone enjoyed the presentation.